Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Duolingo Spanish. This is section 3 Traveller, unit 9. We're going to describe chores and the use of indirect object pronouns. So the first question, which one of these is the box? Well, we can see from the picture it's la caja. La caja. Eso es mío. Eso es mío. What's important about this is this is a new word that Duolingo is recommending. Eso means that. But it means that and it's not gender specific. It's neutral. Eso is neutral. It means that. You see how this sentence is eso es mío. That is mine. It's a vague sentence. There's no gender associated with an object to refer to. So they've used eso. That's the neutral form of that. If you wanted to use the feminine form, you could say, for example, that box is mine. We've just learned the word for box, which is caja, la caja. If you want to say that box is mine, you would have to use the feminine version of that, which is esa. And that would be esa caja es mío. That box is mine because it's feminine. If you wanted to use the masculine version, you, um, for example, that book is mine. Book is a masculine word in Spanish. You would say ese, ese libro es mío. So there's three versions of this. Ese, eso, and esa. Ese is masculine. Esa is feminine. Eso is neutral. That's why they've used neutral here because it's just a vague sentence. You're not referring to anything. That is mine. We've just learned the word for that. Eso. Coges el vaso? Coges el vaso. So this is interesting. This is from the infinitive uh, uh, cogar, which is similar to tomar. This means t to take. The infinitive, sorry, would be to take. Cogar, to take. Same as tomar. Um, what they've done here is they've conjugated it into the to version, the you version. So you take... And because it's a question, it's, can you take, can you take el vaso, which is the glass? So, can you take the glass? Coges esta botella. Again, coges esta botella. What does that mean? Well, coges is, can you take, because it's a question. Esta botella. This, um, this bottle. Botella. What's interesting about this is, botella is a feminine word. Esta, without an accent, is the feminine version of this. The, the masculine, there is another one, you can say esto, which is neutral. Again, similar to eso. And there is the masculine version, este. Because this is a feminine word, we use esta. Can you take this bottle? Coges esta botella. Abres esta caja. Abres esta caja. Well, there's that word caja again, which means box. Why have we used esta again? Well, it's the word for this, but it's the feminine version of that word because caja is feminine. Abres. What's that mean? Well, it's a conjugation again, and we need to find the infinitive abrir, which means to open. Abrir, to open. So, uh, abres means um, you open. It means you open. Because we're asking a question, can you open this box? Nos ayudas mañana? Nos ayudas mañana. Well, what does that mean? Well, mañana means tomorrow. Now, you can, you can also use mañana to mean the morning, but for this example, if it's just on its own, mañana, it usually refers to uh, tomorrow. Ayudas. Well, it's a conjugation again, and it's in the to version, because this person is asking a question to somebody. Ayudas is from the infinitive ayudar, to help. Ayudas is you help. So, you help tomorrow, but it's a question. Can you help tomorrow? We've got that so far. Can you help tomorrow? But what does this mean, the nos at the start? It's a bit annoying because we've already got a sentence. Can you help tomorrow? Well, nos is referring to the word us. And they put it in front in Spanish. They put it in front of uh, the question. Nos ayudas mañana. Can you 
sorry, can you help us, nos, mañana, tomorrow? So, can you help us uh, tomorrow? So, Monica, that's somebody's name. Again, nos ayudas. Can you help us a something la ropa? Well, what's it mean? Well, we've got comprar, which is to buy. We've got uh, invitar, uh, to invite. Usar, which is to use or to wear. Well, it's not It's not them. And what's this one? Labar. Labar. Well, we can see from the, the picture here, it looks like they're washing some clothes. Uh, labar is the, is the infinitive uh, to wash. Labar. Monica, can you help us wash the clothes? Nos ayudas a limpiar el baño. Okay, so if we listen to that again. Nos ayudas a limpiar el baño. Nos ayudas, this is going to be a question again, so can you help us? A, and that means to. Limpiar is the infinitive to clean. And when you put these together, it just means to clean. Um, can you help us to clean el baño? Well, what does that mean, el baño? It means the bathroom. And it's masculine because we're using L. Can you help us clean the bathroom? Abres la botella de vino. Abres la botella de vino. What does that mean? Well, abres is the two conjugation of the, the root word abrir, abrir, which is to open. So, can you open? La botella, we know, is the bottle. And de vino. Well, vino is wine. And de is of. Can you open the bottle of wine? Okay, here's another question to somebody. This time it's Alberto. Abres la... Can you open the... Well, what's this a picture of? It looks like a picture of a window. So let's let's put window in there for now. Alberto, can you open la... That gives us a clue. It's got to be a feminine word. The window... Tengo mucho calor. Tengo mucho calor. I am very hot. Ventana. Ventana. Which is window. And it just so happens to be feminine as well, which is great. Me traes un vaso de agua. Me traes un vaso de agua. Well, where does traes come from? It comes from the infinitive traer, which is to bring. It comes from the root to bring. Again, it's a question to somebody, so it's in the second person conjugation, the to version. Me traes un vaso de agua. Again, let's just ignore that me at the start. Traes, can you, br uh, can you bring un, a, and it's un because vaso, which means glass, is masculine. Can you bring a glass de agua? Agua is water, de is of. Can you bring a glass of water? And again, we've got this little um, word here, me, Sim similar to how nos was us, me is referring to me, this person who's asking the question. Can you bring me a glass of water? There we go. Abres la puerta y me ayudas con esta caja, por Abres favor. Abres la puerta y me ayudas con esta caja, por favor. What does that mean? We, Abres. Well, we've already, we've already kind of gone through a lot of these. Abres, and it's a question. Can you open? La puerta, we'll come back to that. Can you open something? And me ayudas? Can you help me? Con, with, esta caja, this box. And again, esta because it's feminine. The box is feminine. Por favor, please. Can you help, sorry, can you open something and help me with this box, please? La puerta means the door. So, can you open the door and help me with this box, please? And this person's going to reply, and they could say, um, no, they don't have pets. That's this one here. That's not the right answer. Si, yes, pero, que traes? But, uh, what do you bring in the box? Sorry, so that's it, yeah. What do you bring in the box? What do you have in the box? Hay demasiado vino en la botella. Hay demasiado vino en la botella. Hay, hay, you don't pronounce the H in Spanish, so hay means there is or there are. Demasiado means 
too many, too much. There is too much vino, we've learned is wine. Hay demasiado vino, there is too much wine. En la botella, in the bottle. We use la because botella is a feminine word. Tenemos demasiada comida en la nevera. Okay, let's listen to that slowly. Tenemos demasiada comida en la nevera. La nevera. Tenemos demasiada, demasi, demasiada comida en la nevera. Tenemos is the we conjugation of the root tener, which is to have. So it means we have. Now this is just a statement, it's not a question. So it's we have demasiada. Well, what does that sound like? That just sounds like the word we've just learnt, demasiado, which means too much or too many. We have too many or too much. Comida is food. En la, in the nevera, refrigerator. Tenemos demasiada comida en la nevera. We have too much food in the fridge. Why do why is this ending in an A? It's because comida is uh, comida is feminine. What is that? So this is interesting. This is kind of a throwback to the first question we had, where it was just a vague uh, a vague use of the word that. So there was no it was neutral. There was no gender associated, and it's going to be the same here. Because you're not referring to an object, uh, because you're not referring to an object that has a gender, it's going to be, um, we're going to use that, but it's going to be neutral. So it's got, we've got to use eso. Well, we know the word for what. It's que. Que. Is that. Well, what's, what do we have for is here? Well, we have es. Es. And that, as I said. Eso. Eso. Que es eso? What is that? There we go. There are too many plates in the kitchen. So, I'll, just like we've learnt, there are, well, we learnt that that was I. I. There are or there is, I. You can just use the same word. Too many. Well, what was the word for too many? It was demasi, demasia... Demasiados. Dos, demasiados. Well, why, why this time have we added an S on? It's because what we're talking about is plural. Plates. If it was just plate, it wouldn't. It wouldn't make sense. That there are too many plate. But if it was um, singular, you could say demasiado, demasiada. Hay demasiados. Well, what's the word for plates? Platos. Platos. And you'll know that, um, or, or you'll find out that platos is a masculine word. So not only is it plural, but it's masculine. That's why we're using demasiados. So there are too many plates. And then we just need to know in, in, which is the same as at, in and at is n, the kitchen. And when I, I know that the kitchen is a feminine word, so I'm going to use a feminine article. La. And cocina. Cocina. Again, with that accent, um, they say cocina, um, but you can also pronounce it cocina, depending on, on what accent you're, you're wanting to go for. There we go. So thank you so much for watching. Feel free to support me. Keep on learning and I will see you on the next video.